All right, so it is getting close to the Christmas time of season here. Jude said he was going to throw up if I gave him an oil change and tire rotation to do today. Yeah. <laughs> so he's just going to go home. Uh, so uh, Ryan uh, had his first experience today with show him what your, your first experience was today. Grab, grab that little O-ring over there. So tell him what happened on the other side. Uh, the other side, there was no O-ring. There was nothing. But well, there, yeah, there was, <laughs> there's only two lug nuts holding the wheel on, too, right? Yeah, there was only two lug nuts. Um, two of the actual studs were snapped, and then one of the lug nuts were missing. How about that? What do you think of that? Dude, Both axles need to be repaired. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not, it has nothing to do with we, that. We did, esti no. we did estimate that. Besides that, we did <laughs> estimate them. They're, they're not fixing that. But the O-ring, he was trying to get the, the rotor off, and I said, remove the O-ring, and he looked at me like, what O-ring? And then I was like, yeah, just break that shit off. You don't need it. It's just like those those uh, Tinsman nuts that go over these. Oh, those are Unnecessary. Fun. So much fun. And then Jude said that, so when Jude was going through the, uh, I guess the, what do they call that? The beginning of your Ford asset program? Okay. That his instructor said he would never see a Ford with rust in the dealership. Tell him what you saw yesterday. Quarter of a million mile focus. Came in for a tire rotation and oil change. It <laughs> was it falling apart? And the rockers you could stick your hand through and touch carpet. And they still made you work on it? Yeah. With oh, the unsafe chassis. Yeah. What I did was I had to put extend the lift arm all the way to the back control arm and lift it up by the control arm. Nice. Was that safe? It didn't feel safe. No. <laughs> Welcome to dealerships. I'd have been like, yeah, I'm not working on this car. Get someone else to work on it. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Oil chain and tire rotation on a rotted out, like, rotted out vehicle? No thanks, dude. Although the one lady did tip me. She did? A $15 Wawa gift card. Wow! I was like, what the fuck? How about that? So what I wanted to show you guys was that you was here, and then how nice this brake job is, is going along. So this lady came in with her wheel falling off with two lug nuts holding it on. And... The only things we were fixing were the minimum repairs so that she can continue to drive this vehicle. Um, it has multiple other issues, but this would be the minimum repair that she could drive out of here with. Drive out of here with. Um, so, uh, you yeah, know, we're not, we advise replacing the axles, not only for this part being so rotted out, but both axle boots are open. It has multiple other issues that we're not gonna address today. Um, but, you know, I, I don't know. Safety is, is, is important, in my opinion, versus creature comforts. But the whole, the whole vehicle is tinted out, right? So let's say safety before anything else. So yeah. fix your whole car up with tint and be da it's bedazzled inside, too. Like bedazzled oh. steering wheel, bedazzled dashboard and... But never mind making your car completely safe. You gotta, you gotta have murdered out tint on every window. No, I agree with that. What? No, the tint's great because you can just flip people off. No, no. no. Take, no take the four hundred dollars in tint and fix your fucking car. Driving the Lexus is great because I'll be driving that. Priorities, the fucking priorities. And I'll just flip somebody off and I'll have no idea. I'll do that with the windows. Right, so so most people go and buy a hoopty, right? And then what do they do? They go buy used used twenties, and then right to the tent shop. The engine lights on, it's leaking oil, it's overheating. You know, at least I've fixed the issue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Come get your car fixed. 